you feel I'm coming at the problem. I understand the depth of her feeling and I very much appreciate uh, uh, the, the, the responsible way that you put this issue to Thank you very much. Mashallah, I have to say that 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 I have to say फिर उसके बाद कौंसल के अंदर कौंसल हाल के अंदर स्पेशल इन्होंने जो है वो मीटिंग रखी हमारे साथ अख्तर जमान साहब की मार्फत से फिर हम वहां गए वहां पर इनके साथ पूरा ये डिस्कशन किया फिर उन्होंने दीगर जो कौंसलर को साथ बुलाया और ये कम्युनिटी इशू को सुना हमारी इस आवाज को जो है वो ना सिर्फ सुना है बल्कि कोऑपरेट भी किया है और तावन भी किया है और इस आवाज को कम्युनिटी के अंदर जो आप तक पहुंच रही है आ, उसमें अगर मैं मिस लिंडा टॉमिस को क्रेडिट ना दूं तो ये जाती हो हम मैं पर वेलकम कहता हूं उनको I've been the council here for 24 years and can I say this is the first time actually that I've been invited to address you so I do regard this it's a great privilege. I do thank you for that. Um, in those years, I've always tried to listen to you because you are, uh, I'm your advocate. You are a very important part of this community, Halliwell. And therefore, I'm listening again to what you have to say. Prior to meeting with the Evan, who uh, kindly came and discussed the issue with me, and other members of the community who've been actually to the town hall and discussed it with me, I had all, already been talking to um, our director of people, who is um, a woman who's in charge of all the safeguarding of children in the town. And she and I were very concerned about the way that this legislation was being imposed on schools. This is not the way that we normally deal with this in education in this country. We normally put parental rights as paramount. And I talk, not just as a counsellor, but as a mother of four, a grandmother of 10, my husband was a head teacher in Padium in Burnley in a big secondary school there and we can never ever remember anything being imposed on people against their will. And so I will write to the Minister, I've drafted a letter already, I said I will share it with, with the Imam and with the people who have been to see me already, I'll share it obviously with Sir David Crosby mm -hmm. and it's to support uh, David in his attempt to try and get this legislation changed because it's not right that parental wishes are overridden. And I know we're a tolerant society, and we believe in equality, but at the end of the day, I, I still believe that when it's people's faith and sensitivity to people's faith, and parental choice as well, that has to, that has to be overriding. And so we will do our very best to make the government listen. I find it a very draconian way that this government has approached this subject, I'm not quite sure why they feel that they have to go down this route. I'm sure there's a much better way of dealing with the situation. And we will do everything in our power to send the message you sent to us up to Parliament. And it won't just be the people of Halliwell. There'll be people all over Bolton. There'll be people all over this country. And as David said, it won't just be people of Muslim faith. There will be people of Catholic faith. There will be people who are Jehovah's Witnesses, or people of different types of faith that find it's just a step too far. And we do respect what you say, and we will listen. As I say, this is about your views being transmitted to Westminster, and uh, I assure you that I will do that for you. Thank you. Um, <coughs> आए इन्होंने हमारी बात को सुना हमारी प्रॉब्लम को सुना हमने जो पिटीशन साइन किए वो भी इनको पेश कर दिए जो लेटर थे आप लोगों के वो भी पेश कर दिए अब आपको जो लेटर दिए गए थे तो आपको पता है कि जिस दौरान आपने लेटर को सेंड किए थे उस दौरान स्कूलों में छुट्टियां थी वो लेटर जो है वो आप लोग अपनी अपनी जिम्मेदारी के साथ स्कूलों में जरूर पहुंचाएं बाकी वोट के लिए मिस लिंडा जो है इन्होंने आज से बहुत कॉपरेट किया है हम इनके लिए दुआ दो भी हैं 
اور آپ تمام حضرات سے اس کے پہلے ان کی کامیابی کے لیے دعا بھی کرتے ہیں جب جتنے بھی اخبار ہمارے پاس آئے اور ہمیں 